As Mayor leader Raila Odinga while meeting the clergy in Westlands constituency Nairobi County said it was absurd for citizens to be asked to pay for documents showing they are Kenyans. So mtu atataka uende ununue kitambulisho kwa mkenya. Na baba yako ni mkenya, mama yako ni mkenya. Eh? Sasa wamesema ati ukiwa wewe mkenya ukaenda huko nje ukapata mchana huko pale mtoto huko ili aje akawe mkenya milioni moja. Je, hii ni ngwana? Hii ni ngwana. Ailas remarks comes even as the government revoked a gazette notice issued on November 7th that announced an increase in charges for some services including passports, ID, work permits, birth and death certificates to allow for public participation on the matter. Hawa watu wameshindwa. Mambo ya kitambulisho tutasema ni lazima kila mkenya apewe kitambulisho. Ni kama yeye hana pesa. Ni kama kuoa bibi. Unaambia sasa wewe ili wewe bibi mpaka utoe shilingi 50,000. Sasa wameweka eh, tax on marriage. Watu wataokopa wata, wata kuoana. Si ndio? Sasa wakiambia kijana alipe 25000 ama si pesa ngapi ndio apate bibi si ataokopa Interior Cabinet Secretary Kiture Kindiki has since gazetted new intended charges for the same services to take effect on January 1 2024 And if a gazette notice um, is found to be unpopular to the people and if uh, not enough public participation has not been, uh, has not been attained it is only incumbent upon any government that is uh, in the same in sync with its populace to listen and to retreat and to withdraw the kenya kwanza administration is not shy of doing that because we are accountable to kenyans in the new gazette notice however the government has made minimal changes with most of the charges such as application of passports death and birth certificates being retained as previously published on November 7th 2023 when you revoke a gazette notice then the current situation subsists the government had intended to increase the fee for first time id applications to 1000 but has now reviewed the cost downwards to 300 shillings the fee for replacement of lost ids has also been reviewed to 1000 shillings instead of the intended 2000 shillings a gazette notice can also be revoked and declared null and void by a court of law we don't have to go that whole way i think it settles the matter faster let kenya bring out uh, their proposals to the ministry of interior and then we will see what is it that comes out of it philip mrutuke 24 nairobi